Hi, I'm Nikki with Advanced Turf Solutions, and this video is going to be all about the sod webworm. The first thing you'll notice with sod webworms are little small patches of clip grass. Basically, they're feeding, the larvae are feeding on that grass stem, so they're going to clip that grass down to basically the crown of the plant, and you'll just start seeing little brown areas um, of what might look like dead grass. Sun webworm damage can actually look like many other things. It can look like drought stress in the turf. It can look like other insect damage. It could look like disease damage. And somebody might think they have dollar spot. The best way to definitively diagnose a soft webworm issue is really getting down on your hands and knees and, and looking to see, one, is are there spots on the blades? Is it just, you know, is it just dry? If you have clipped grass or you're not sure, one of the best ways is to actually do a soap drench. So you can put a tablespoon of a lemon scented soap, something like Lemon Joy, in one to two gallons of water and pour that in about a two by two foot area and then basically wait for things to bubble up and uh, insects will bubble up, like even adult beetles, things like that will bubble up. But if you have soft webworm, those caterpillars will probably be coming out of the ground about 10 minutes after you do that application. The sob webworm caterpillar will actually be a somewhat small caterpillar, about that big. It's kind of light brown, maybe a dirty whitish, but there are four rows of dots that go down each body segment. So you'll have little dark brown dots on each segment of that body. It'll have a dark head capsule and you will actually see uh, three sets of legs on that caterpillar. The moth is a very small, light brown to kind of a creamy white moth. It'll have what will almost look like a snout on it, but in the evenings, they fly in a, in a real zigzag pattern across your yard. So if you're walking across the yard, what most people are calling grass moths is probably a sod webworm, but they're flying in little zigzag patterns then you should know that, you know, three weeks later, you should probably start scouting for the caterpillars. There are two different timings for preventative application for sod webworm. There are two generations in a year. They actually overwinter as a caterpillar and the adults will emerge in late April to early May. You can attempt to go after that generation by applying a, a general insecticide, something like bifenthrin, one of your synthetic pyrethroids, an application of acelaprin, tetrino, anything like that, clothianidin, would also work on that one. The most damage is actually done by that second generation. So many times that early application isn't needed. That second generation is going to come around late July, mid to late July to early August. And that's the timing that you want to hit with those chemicals then. So an application in mid-July would work really well on getting control of that second generation. If you are seeing damage in the yard and you need to make a curative application, you're still going to use something like a synthetic pyrethroid or you could go with Carbaryl. This is another area where a combo product might work if you're still trying to get your grub control down while at the same time making that, that 
that application for the sod web room. So something like the Triple Crown, something like Arena. There's also the, the Tetrino from Bear that would work really well in that application. Be sure to reach out to your local Advanced Turf representative. You can always go to advancedturf.com to find a representative near you.